Hey, what's going on YouTube? Easy Tech 231 here. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Azul Byte Plus, and this is actually a fanless Windows 10 mini PC. Uh, this is actually the first mini PC that I've ever gotten my hands on, so I was pretty excited uh, to check this out. The particular model that I have here has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, but you can expand that via micro SD, which is really nice. Uh, this comes in at 170 bucks, which I was really skeptical. I was like, okay, can a PC really be that good for uh, 170 bucks? Uh, there's the micro SD card slot right there. Um, but yeah, I've been using it for a few weeks, actually about two and a half weeks, and it works really, really well. Now you can get this in a number of different variants you can get with two gigabytes of model and 32 gigs of storage then you can get an upgraded four gigs of ram with 32 gigs of storage and then you can get four gigs of ram with 64 gigs of storage but if you're looking to get any of them and you're looking to save some cash i definitely recommend that you get the middle model the one with four gigs of ram and 32 gigs of storage because it's only 40 dollars more than the baseline model that i have here you're going to get much better performance out of that i'm not saying that the baseline model does not perform it performs very well i'm just saying that the four gig Gigabyte model will serve you much better. So upon taking this out of the box for the first time, the first thing that caught my attention was the weight and the build quality. I was really impressed with how well it was built and the weight. It's it's pretty hefty. I mean, it's a full PC, uh, so you can expect it to be pretty hefty, uh, which is really nice so that it's not just going to fly off your desk or anything like that. Uh, so it's nice and weighty. And then the build quality is really nice. You have what I believe to be a nice uh, aluminum up top here. It's really solid. It's actually really cold right now. And then you have a matte plastic, I believe, or matte rubber here on the sides and then on the bottom you've got rubber and rubber feet so it's not sliding around your desk uh, so overall super super solid and very well built pc now you've probably taken notice of this little label here and i left it on for the video's purpose uh, it's basically saying that it's got something called intel burst technology and uh, what that will result in impossible higher temperatures in terms of you know the heat of the actual pc uh, so when handling it just be careful it will get hot it did get pretty warm when i was using it but nothing too crazy like i couldn't fry an egg on it or anything like that uh, so don't worry it's not going to explode or anything like that just know that it'll get a little warm so now with that being said i'm just going to go ahead and remove this so we do have our micro sd card slot right here and it can support sd cards up to uh, 128 gigabytes which is pretty solid so you can easily expand the storage of your pc and then on the back we have all of our io we have our antenna here which we can adjust to whatever angle we need it to be at and then we have all of our ports we have a port for the power i actually have the power adapter off to the side here it's just a basic 12 volt power adapter which is just pretty basic i just said the same thing twice and then we have three usb ports we have two usb 3.0 ports and we have a regular one right right here kensington lock i guess still we have that thing and then we also have a uh, an ethernet port headphone jack <laughs> headphone jack uh, hdmi and then um, vga which is really interesting i'm pretty surprised they included that but it's cool because we can plug in two monitors to the pc and have like a dual monitor setup going on so after using this pc for a few weeks i can definitely say that this is something that you're gonna want to pick up if you want your kids to have a starter pc or you just need like a secondary desktop pc or something like that or what you could do is put this by your TV and use it like a media center or something like that. Store a whole bunch of movies on here with the, uh, whoa, huge voice crack. With the inclusion of a micro SD card slot, you can just toss a whole bunch of movies on there. There you go. Uh, so you can use this for a number of different things. You could even use it for maybe like a little emulation PC. Yeah, you can run emulators on here, not the heaviest of emulators, but you can run the basic emulators on here, which is pretty cool. So this is something that you're gonna wanna pick up if you're looking for a basic cost-effective PC. This is definitely worth the money, I think. Think it is and i would definitely buy one again maybe as a gift for somebody else uh, but this is definitely a really super solid pc and it gets the job done you can browse websites you can you can run basic programs like office and stuff like that it can run minecraft uh, a little bit it can run minecraft um, fairly well uh, which is pretty impressive so if you guys are wondering about that i did test that out uh, so overall this is a this is a very nice pc i'm very impressed with it and i will be putting it by my tv in the family room to use it as like a media center so there you have it that is the azul byte plus again you can grab it for 170 bucks i'll have it in a link in the description so make sure you check it out um but yeah this is this is a really really nice pc and i'm very impressed with it so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.